Hi friends, welcome to the second session of SOLIDWORKS video tutorial series. In this session, we are going to discuss about the basic settings needed before we start any of the drawing in SOLIDWORKS. Basic settings include units and snap setting and we can add new tools to the existing one because by default the SOLIDWORKS is providing some basic tools. If you want to add some additional tools, it is there in the library, we can add it also. And for the convenience of our easiness, we can make our mouse gestures customized to one and keyboard shortcuts also. So I'm going to show you one by one the basic settings. We will start with the units and snap settings. See, this is the basic platform we have. When you are opening the software, it will be like this. And first go to the document properties for setting the unit. The document property is available in option. But when you are checking here, here is the option see when you are checking here the document property is not available because in order to make document property available we should start any of the files either a 2d file or a 3d file so I'm going to start with a file I'll show you how to see this is the new option click on the new it will ask for which kind of or which category you want to open see basically we have a uh, three different category that is part option assembly option and drawing option the part is commonly used for 2d drawing and 3d drawing or 3d conversion assembly is as the name indicate once we complete the 3d drawing of different components by using this uh, platform we can assemble the things together this is the drawing is different from 2d drawing because this drawing is commonly used to convert the 3D and assembly into a sketch. Say normally if you have a, f a 3D figure you want to make the front view, top view, side view, sectional view, isometric view and all we are using this option. Um, I will show you in a, this particular drawing in my upcoming videos. See, for the time being I am starting with the part because I am going to concentrate in the 2D drawing. So this is the one you have. I will show you the advanced option also in the upcoming slides double click see, now I am in the sketch option here you can see that the highlighted one is sketch the feature is called the 3d so um, if the sketch option is not available here in the tab list you can click a right button in the tab see this is the sketch option when you are clicking it's disappeared you can take it back by clicking over there again so this is the sketch option as I mentioned in the beginning we need to go to document properties to set the units so when I are clicking here in the option now you can see that the document properties is available click on the document properties go directly to the units in the left side you can see that click on that see these are the unit systems provided by the software MKS CGS and everything is here IPS or you can set your own custom unit at the time of installation after the installation the default unit system is IPS you can change that to your preferred one so I'm using MMGS here in my drawing so I'm, it's already selected I can set it so in the right bottom side here you can see that here also we can set the unit but it will not be a permanent one it will change from file to file so better to go here in the options document properties set the unit that's uh, all about the unit setting. Next I am going to explain about how to add additional tools to different different platforms. Say for example this is sketch platform for 2D, features is the platform for 3D and these much tools are directly given by the software at the time of installation. These are the most commonly used tools. If you want to add additional tools in this platform you can go to customize here you have the command option in command option it's list listed all the categories select your category our category is sketch go to sketch here you can see that these are the total number of tools provided by the software if you want to make a shortcut of or a button of this one simply drag and drop here see this is the option you can drag and drop over here so um, in the feature option here you can see that go to features 
see if you want to add something see here I, here I already have added the additional campaign dome and join if you want to add or remove something you can add it over here so this is the option go to customize and select the command now the grid and snap setting so what is the meaning of snap if you are familiar with the uh, any of the drawing software you can easily know that what is the meaning of snap snap is actually a helpful property provided by the software for easy access of the intermittent points the like uh, midpoints uh, different angles we can take say 45 is the default angle and the quarters of a circle I'll show you one example see when I am drawing a line like this see when I am moving towards this end it will automatically highlight the endpoints this is called the endpoint snap these two are the endpoint snaps if if I want to draw a circle in the middle of this particular line when I am moving over here see you can see that in the midpoint of the line it will show a highlighted portion that is called the midpoint snap these all things are automatically on because the snap options are provided in the system by default I'll show you how to set if it is not available how to set it I'll show you see go to options as I mentioned Go to document properties or you can take it directly from here from the system option itself but unit is not available go to document properties see grid and snap go to system snaps see these are the snaps here I have enabled all the snaps as check-in so for example if I am removing this one and I am trying to find the midpoint it will not show the midpoint so this is the importance of activating all the snaps on see go to system snaps make it on uh, there are different options you can see that the tangent it will show the tangent by default perpendicular parallel option C for example the perpendicular option here you can see that when I'm drawing another line if the line is perpendicular there is automatically a snap this is the snap so this is very easy at the time when we are drawing a figure it will automatically give some options by default so this is about a setting up of snap option document properties snap so there is also one more option uh, commonly we are not using that one display the grid see these are the grids uh, grids for the reference but in uh, Solvac software itself we can use multiple reference by using different methods I will show you in the upcoming videos so no need of setting the uh, displaying the grid for all uh, 2d drawings so this is the setting of uh, snap and grid now uh, we are going to discuss about the last one that is called the shortcut setting see before shortcut setting I'll show you what is mouse gestures and uh, mouse gestures means four commonly used tools can be set as a mouse gesture when you are press and hold the right button and moving to left you can see that in the left side there is a rectangle in the right side it is a circle bottom side it is a, a corner rectangle this is center rectangle and this is used for the dimensioning so these are the common uh, things uh, we are using but you know most commonly we are using line option rather than this corner rectangle or center rectangle so how to set this one over here I will show you in order to set that one go to options and click on the customize here in the top you can see that there is an option called the mouse gestures see, here I am in the sketch platform in the sketch platform I am going to set the mouse gestures so I need to check here in the list moving down there it is see, see here you can see that for the line option I didn't set anything so for the corner rectangle center rectangle I already have set this one see when I am pressing the right button and moving down it will give corner rectangle the center rectangle center rectangle is not a commonly used one compared to line so I'm going to set it click over here press and uh, 
taking the option so now okay now you can see that at the time of drawing in the left side there is line option so what is the advantage of this one say if you are using a continuous drawing and I need to convert or switch in between circle and line no need to go all the time here to take the command we can simply move here this is line now so and I can move like this to get the circle for the dimension also I just move like this and I can give the dimension okay that's all about the part 2 of SOLIDWORKS tutorial series basic settings in the part 3 we will discuss about 2D drawing by using SOLIDWORKS that is called the SOLIDWORKS sketch platform where we will discuss about different kinds of drawing tools and the editing tools used for the editing purposes how to make the dimensions how can we establish the relationship between two entities and also we will do different common exercises to familiarize and uh, identify the combination of the drawing editing and dimensions thank you so much for your patient listening see you in the session number three bye bye